travel, I think. I don't have it attached to my dash. It's just sort of sitting there. And um, I'm using the helmet mount resting on the dash of the car, so it's probably not too uh, sturdy. I'm eventually going to want to be putting that on the windshield mount, which I'll have to get. But I just want to try this out. The uh, I haven't ever been able to do a video in poor weather, as I've often said in the past. And I've been looking at action cameras for a while, and Black Friday is the time to get one. I'll tell you that this was the first time I've ever been in the Black Friday crowd. The crush and the action and the excitement of the moment at the Black Friday sales. It was insane. Such an adrenaline rush. But uh, it sure was worth it in the end. And, I mean, the fun and the excitement, the experience. That was, that was just awesome. Wouldn't want to do it all the time, it's dangerous. But, um, it sure was awesome. So anyway, I got this Black Friday deal in this camera. And, uh, trying it out. Heading back home to New York. I've got two homes. Home in Michigan, home in New York. Um, used to be Michigan was the most peaceful place I ever knew on Earth. But, uh, I have to admit my property out there where I'm staying is uh, pretty nice. So, it's, it feels good to be going home. Although family time is awesome, it feels good to be going home. We've got baby cat sitting here, and she's got mixed feelings as well. She uh, became a dominant cat at my mom and dad's place, and it was pretty cool to see her strutting around and, and being the, the lead dominant cat. Big cat. She knows I'm talking about her. Sorry, right. I'm driving her. I can show you. Yeah, she's trying to rub against my arm as I'm driving. Um, anyway, well, uh, it's 26 degrees out. It was a cold night, but the roads are dry and it's uh, hazy out, but not too bad. So I think it's going to be a good drive back. So uh, we'll see you all back in New York. I might record from time to time throughout the day and keep you updated on how things are going with my new action camera. I'm trying it out. So, um, talk to you later. Oh, good morning. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Day two of my journey back to New York. I uh, had a detour in Pennsylvania and spent the night with a friend. Uh, made the trip go a little bit easier that way and then I arrived at the off-grid project today during daylight hours. That way I get to see how things look. We had some snow, we had some bad winds and weather, and I prefer to get there during the daytime rather than, uh, it would have been 9 o'clock last night, 9 or 10 o'clock last night if I had driven straight through. And then I'd had to have dinner on the road and uh, check the place out in the dark, and it wouldn't have been very nice. So anyway, I stayed in Pennsylvania and had a nice warm place to stay. And then I'll be getting back to the off-grid project around 11:30 this morning. I'm in Pennsylvania still right now, driving on the highway. I'll be back to the uh, site. Check things. 
Welcome to New York. I just entered New York State. Oh, I love New York sign right there. Um, it's snowy. It's a little bit rough out there. So I don't know what I'm going to be expecting when I get home. My, uh, my area is a little bit colder than average. And there's snow here. But then again, I am up in the mountains a little bit right now. Um, then again, my home is a higher elevation, so I'm curious to see what I find when I get there. You can see the snow everywhere. I'm driving with uh, and holding the camera onto the dash so I can rotate it basically, so don't fear for my life. I'm not looking at the camera, I'm just sort of pointing where I think it's looking. I uh, just had brunch on the way, so I uh, don't have to worry about food after I get in. I can hit the ground running, start stocking up some firewood because we're supposed to have a storm coming tonight, uh, starting later this afternoon and going all into the night. We're supposed to have a lot of snow and slop and freezing rain coming, and then the next three days we're supposed to have snow and freezing rain. So it's going to be interesting to see what the weather will be like here. Well, there's a beautiful sight for you. This is, again, um, I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. This is my new um, action camera. So I can do recording in bad weather. And uh, maybe I can start doing some stunts for you all with an action camera. Let's see what I can come up with. Anyway. Here we are, going up pretty high up in the mountains. My ears are popping. Look at that view. Hope you can see that. I won't know until I get home and edit this video what you can see on this camera. But it's a pretty amazing sight from the top of this mountain. Actually, I'm not at the top yet. It's rugged. I like it. So, actually I just want to record until I get to the top of the hill and see what the view is like. The trucks are doing about 20 miles an hour right now. Struggling. That was a serious hill. Oh, it's only 1,272 feet. That was not big. I was up to 5,500 feet uh, a while back when I first, I think it's near the entrance of Pennsylvania. They claim it's the highest point east of the Mississippi. I know I mentioned that uh, about a year ago when I was driving through there, but I think it's impressive. Anyway, see you guys over at the Off Grid Project. Thank you for some Well, back at the homestead. Um, show you around. Chickens are fine, so I want to. Do something special for Chris to thank him. He took care of the birds all right. My um, lettuce is dead, or going to be dead. Oops, I just hit my own electrical wire. Isn't that dumb? Ah, I just got my uh, sandal tangled on the electrical wire. That was intelligent. Anyway, uh, looking at a camera and walking forward is not the smartest way to walk. The uh, parsley is still alive, it must have just recently collapsed, and uh, I can still get some, some food out of there. It's not too late to get a little bit of food out of there, but the snow load was pretty heavy. Birds, every one of them are okay, I just fed them. Um, Chris had expected me home yesterday, so I uh, hadn't told him to take care of them today, so I'm doing that today, but every one of the birds are fine. Now, for my first look around, the only damage was the carport. The uh, wind, from my understanding, was intense and brutal out here. And I didn't know if that was going to survive, especially with my not being here to continuously tie it down, readjust it, and strap it down. Uh, it is destroyed. Uh, well, actually, only one pole is bent. It's otherwise intact, but I uh, don't have a pole to replace it. So... What I'm going to do is take down the legs and put it down as a tarp for now. That's it. 
everything else is okay the other tent is good that is designed for winter the this storage tent is good the tiny house seems to have stood up well there is a lot of debris down uh, a lot of junk on the roads so uh, it was some bad winds I had to do a little bit of a zigzag trip coming over here so uh, Anyway, I thought I heard a vehicle coming. Could be hallucinating. I've got more loads of barnwood while I was gone. I can't wait to get over there and check it out, but there is a lot of barnwood out there. Um, the guy had been delivering. So, again, this is my new action cam, so I don't know how this is going to look. I don't know how jerky it is when I walk. I don't know anything until I get to the computer. But I do want to show you, I was inside already, and I emptied out the wood stove and I put some kindling in there. Baby cat is happy to be home. Baby cat, are you happy you're home? Huh? Quite a trip, huh? You made it back, Fuzzy. Uh, it is warmer outdoors than in. Let me see if I can see what I'm showing you here. Um, forgive me if I can't get this on camera properly because there's the glare in there from what I can tell in the little display. It's 34.2 in and 34.7 out. So it's actually warmer out than it is in. But anyway, we made it. We made it back to the tiny house on wheels and the off-grid project. Baby cat, what do you think? We're going to warm this place up, huh? Look at her. She's all fluffed up. It's cold, fuzzy, huh? All right, well, I'm going to get some fire going in here and warm this place up. Uh, Kenwood on the run is on his way. And uh, hope to have this heated up before he arrives.